You played Splatoon 1 with 6 and you got to level 30 something. Then you didn't even play Splatoon 1 then, not to be rude. <laughs> but you should definitely go ahead and give motion controls a try because it's... You know, you'll definitely, like, once you start, and you start getting good with it, you'll honestly never be able to go with sticks, or go back to sticks. Because it's based, like, the comparison between it is just, like, you look at a sticks player, or a console player, and then you look at a mouse and keyboard player. Now the thing is with motion, it's like, the closest you're ever gonna get to that type of play of, like, a mouse and keyboard, but with a controller. The, like, moment you do learn how to use it, it's just gonna benefit you more. You're gonna be able to aim much better, you're gonna have way better movement, like, 20 times faster. And it's just gonna feel great. Once you get it used to it. What you need to remember, because a lot of people forget about this, is that when you're using motion, you can also use the stick. You can also use the stick. It may be left and right, but it's not up and down, mainly because if it was up and down, you'll be actually flipping your controller upside down. So, they do this for a reason. And also, hold the controller like this. Flat, like this. So you turn the controller left and right like that. Because when you're pushing it like this, I mean some people push it, play like, play like this. But that can feel really awkward. So that's why you hold it flat like that. So it's a much nicer turn for left and right. Look, here, I'll even stop the stream and my gameplay to actually just give you a give you some time and actually actually show you because I like to help people. Have I heard about Megan and Harry leaving the Glory family? Yeah I have. Don't really care though. <laughs> Let's be honest. But as you can see, I'm gonna hit the reset button. Look, left turn. Right turn. Easy, right? You have your up and down movement like that, really easy. Look, yeah, I want to look at this, the, the target on the right. There you go. Well, that's, that's all I needed to do. I didn't need to be like... Like, I even show you, look. All I need to do is this. And the aimer is on him. For the left guy, ha! And the aimer is on him. Now let me turn the motion off. This is... Don't, don't scream, guys, because... It's gonna be awful. But... The sticks... There's a lot more adjustment. There's a lot more adjustment that you have to make to do this. There's a lot more adjustment. Because the sticks, in general, they're wonky. There's no auto-aim that assists the stick... Uh, in this game. For good reason, because it'll just, it'll just basically get rid of all the hard work and the raw input that motion players have, you know? So somewhat, you're basically giving the stick players an aimbot for no reason, just so that they can play the game, you know? So it's like, no, this is, this is not the way to play. Well, dude, what about if you just slow your sensitivity down? Because, you know, it is obviously at plus five. All right, we'll slow my sensitivity down to like something reasonable. Let's just put it to the default. All right. Default? Alright. I can aim better with this. Yes, sure. I mean, even still, there's a little bit more adjustment. But here's the problem. Now when it takes from... Like, when, what, now, when I'm going left and right and all this nonsense, all this nonsense, the movement of it is much slower. You use sticks in Fortnite and you've got some squad wins. Alright. I'm going to stop you there, because what do you have in Fortnite? Auto-aim, which is somewhat of an aimbot, alright? It's not an aimbot, even though it is, but that assists you so you can actually play well with sticks. Turn your aim assist off and play Fortnite, see what happens, alright? Turn it off, see what happens. You're gonna suck. It's gonna feel awful to aim. The exact same experience as you had in Splatoon, because there is no auto-aim in this game. I can still aim with sticks, but it's just extremely slow. But if I was to turn back motion back on... Nice. Alright guys, I'm turning back on so everyone, you know... Well, Alright, movement's back. Aim is back. Everything's good with the world. I'm fast, I'm furious, I can aim perfectly. Look at that. Look at the difference, look at the difference. Motion, motion, motion. 
Motion. I'm blaming the 96 kind of, but motion. Motion. It's crazy, right? The difference is crazy. It's just like a mouse and keyboard, but it's in a controller. It's actually that crazy, man. Play a few, few rounds with sticks. Yo, let's do that. Let me just show you. I think I can play with sticks. Cool. We're going to play a couple of rounds on sticks, all right? Everyone chill. Everyone chill. Just, just for a few. Just for a few seconds. Maybe one game or something. I don't know. Everyone relax. <laughs> the motion has been turned off. But the thing is, what you're going to notice is that I'm going to be significantly worse. Even though I'm going to still be able to play what play somewhat decent, I'm going to play significantly worse because sticks just suck. There's no auto aim. There's way too much adjustment. My movement's slow. My aim is slow. Everything about everything to do when you play in this game is just slow. All right? It's slow. I, that, and that's the thing I really need to explain to everyone who is probably watching this stream and still uses sticks to this day. Die hard and all that nonsense. It's just going to be very slow. All right, so I got the controller in hand. It's gonna feel great. It's not gonna feel great, what am I talking about? But here we are. I'm gonna try and do my best with this. The thing I always notice about when I, I'm actually moving my controller, I can use motion. but the thing I always notice when I'm using sticks is that the up and down, the Y axis, is like much faster than it's like the left and right. Which is like, sucks. Okay, that's one kill. It would have been nice if we had like an opportunity just to be like, all right, we're just gonna get the, the zone or at least contest a little bit and it's gonna be great, but we're not getting that chance today. Okay. Okay, we killed the same guy. I'm just gonna armor for my own safety. Cool. Well, the thing is that you're noticing is that I'm just extreme. I could use a fast sense, but you know, it's just not gonna feel the same. You're gonna play some salmon run and pl play motion, see how you feel. You have to give it a go. Just give it a go. Like, I'm not gonna chase, chase you to play uh, whatever you want. Honestly, I don't really care. You know, everyone is free to play with whatever they want. But if anyone tells me how they want to actually get better at this game, I don't, the first thing I'm going to say is that you need to turn motion controls on. Because when it comes to just looking at people and trying to adjust your aim and those, do those little adjustments, you can't do that with sticks because it's just so stiff. There's no auto aim that assists that. Unless you're using like minus five, minus five, but then you lose literally all movement options. Like I'm using minus one just so I can actually control it. To a, sem to a somewhat decent level. There's two guys there. You c One thing also is that you can't exactly like do a lot when it comes to like wanting to get fall off damage. Because usually with motion you just like slightly move it upwards. But you can't do that quickly with this. Otherwise you might mess up your aim sometimes. Sad part is that I am still winning. Yeah, I am still winning. Like the thing is about me and sticks, is that like I still have game sense. Like I'm not stupid when I play this game. I, I still I still know what I'm doing. But it's just it's just whatever I'm doing. It's just going to be significantly slower. <laughs> I have 75 years COD experience. Oh, I gotta tell you, Mike, those 75 years were aim assisted. I'm just saying. Yeah, let's play another game. Let's play another game. Just to, just to, you know, give it more of a go. You learn a lesson if dude can win with sticks, you can too. All right, I'm not trying to encourage you guys to do this. <laughs> let's get something straight. This is, this should not be encouragement to go ahead and be like, oh, dude won a game, let's go ahead and use sticks. I'm not trying to encourage that, all right? Because I want everyone to try and move on to the motion because it's gonna help you guys to actually get better at the game if you aren't already using it. All right, try and get into another game and see what happens. Is, yeah, six isn't bad. Well, in Splatoon, it's bad compared to Motion because Motion is just like 
Like, it's like next level, dude. I don't even know what those sound effects were, but it's literally like night and day. I'm pretty sure this will do a lot more good than bad. Just to show you guys, you know, you can still do things with sticks, but you're still probably gonna want to use motion by the end of the day. Now, let's just see. So we have a comp, we actually have a pretty decent comp. They have a pretty balanced comp too. All right, so I'm gonna just use my game sense that I already know, but at the same time, I'm just going to be doing it with the sticks. Like it's just not gonna be much of a difference. They armored, so what that basically tells me is that I need to chill. If I chill right here, I should be fine. Cool. I can't even put the, the sprinkler on properly, but you know. There is a guy over there. Okay, it's taking forever to do anything though. Adjustment. Oh, we ain't getting this up. Uh, thank you. Cool. He's so weak, dude. There we go. We're using sticks because I'm just trying to show that, you know, I know how to use it. I can use sticks just fine, but still, you're probably a better pl player using motion still. Okay, this is actually a problem. Like, one thing you're probably gonna notice is that it, for me, it, like, it takes me a lot to, like, there are certain things I just cannot do. Like, there are certain way, like, ways I wanna, like, like, engage people, but I can't. Mainly because, one, I'm using a slow sense, and if I'm using a slow sense for a stick, it's just going to allow me to aim better. And actually have, like, more consistent, like, aim movement and all that, or movement in general. I could just use a faster sensitivity, but actually, no, I'm going to use a fast sense after this game, just to show you how that's going to go. Because it's going to go horrible, alright? This guy's not going to allow this. Oop. Stop playing sticks. No. I need to show the world this, alright? That I can play sticks just fine. But it's not a way to encourage people to go ahead and use it. I mean, if even if people start using it, I mean, maybe I'm doing something good because I'm making solo queue easier for everyone. Oh my god. See how much time it takes me to adjust or anything? Alright, dude. Your aim is really slow. But why not speed it up a little bit? Alright, let's speed it up a little bit. Just to see what happens. Because pretty sure it's going to be awful. <laughs> We're going to go a fast sense. But, like, not extremely fast. Alright? So, like, let's do 2.5, alright? So, it's, like, fast, but kind of, like, kind of not fast. Like, this is, like... It's fast, alright? And now we're gonna see how this goes. Playing Splatoon 2 without motion controls is like eating peanut butter without sandwich without a drink. Yeah. <laughs> what are you said. So sticks with fast sense. And then we're gonna switch back to motion. I am out here to prove a point that I've been trying to prove for I don't know how many years. All right, now we're using fast sense. Let's see what happens, all right? Now our aim is much faster, all right? Much faster, alright? You see that? But it's, the problem I'm gonna find is that I'm gonna have to make a lot more little adjustments just to do anything. Where if I was using motion, no problem. Would have been able to adjust very quickly without all the inputs that I needed to input. There's no way I'm gonna be able to just dry out. Never mind. I shouldn't have challenged him like that. You have to like to make you have to make like the smallest movement with your stick just to actually do anything accurately. That's also one thing, like with especially when it comes to sticks, like there's no like dead zone like you can't like really support dead zones or anything like that. So like if it's on a fast sense, the little movement you make is like drastic. Which kind of forces you to use a like a uh, a slower sense, which 
also forces you to just play slower in general. Okay, nice. I could have, like, there's so many things I'm looking at. I could have just been like, alright, I'm gonna run at this dude, and I'm gonna kill him straight up. You know one thing is that, like, I can't look at places. Like, I feel like I can't because I, I have to focus on one point. So, like, with motion, you'd notice me, like, look one side and another side. I feel like I can't do that with sticks. Okay. That's a 52 go. That would have been a very easy kill, by the way. That would have been a much easier kill. I shouldn't have even traded with that. Pretty sure we've already won. Unless, like, something bad happens here. Just get the kill. There we go. Cool. But the thing is that what I'm noticing more is that there's a lot more, like, situations where I feel like just, like, very small adjustment with motion would have fixed that. There's just a lot of stuff that I can do quicker. You know? A lot of stuff I can do quicker. But he's weak. Okay. Armor. Oh, no, it's not gonna slide, though. In that situation where the explosion was looking at me, what all, all that really needed was just slight adjustment for me to look upwards, which motion would have fixed. But because I had to rely on a, you know, one input, just to see, you know, if that stick input would have worked, that's basically why I couldn't actually really challenge the Xbox show too much. You actually have to play perfectly. I'm dead. But could have survived. Could have survived. Even with the fast sense, I'm just still really slow, dude. So I think I've proved my point enough. I'm not gonna slide. Okay. I proved my point enough that your movement and your aim is just overall slower. Even with fast or slow sense. With fast sense, you have to make more, smaller adjustments, but even then, like, just a little, like, a little, like, you can't even see it. Just a little that. That. That's. It makes your, you. You look like that. You're looking this way, but you look that way, you know? Just a little that. Alright? So stop. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the sticks all the way to plus five, and we're gonna turn back motion on. And now we're actually going to play Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch. Alright? Because now. I'm going to be able to adjust smaller movements, which sticks cannot do. My aim is going to be smoothed out, and I'm actually going to be able to look down at the ink and look upwards in less than like a half or a quarter of a second because motion allows that. I can do this just like easy and even look left or right if I really wanted to. So first game, going back to motion, you know? First of all, you're gonna notice I'm just much faster. It's just so much more easier to do anything. I'm quicker, I have more control. I feel like I can jump and shoot as well. Which is actually something I didn't even exactly mention. I could jump and shoot. I was playing without motion. Yeah, I was playing without motion for like the last five games or so. Anyways. Nice quick kill there. I noticed a guy there. He's weak. My movement. Much quicker, easy kill, because I can jump. Jumping and shooting is probably something that you won't be able to do as much. Especially if you're using like the Pro Controller, which is basically the best controller for Splatoon, so... Alright. Are we gonna... There we go, see? I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to do that with sticks. That's actually one thing. If this guy can die, please. RNG. Alright, never mind. Forget about that guy. Okay. We're going to move out the way. My dude ran away. But that's also one thing. I'm pretty sure if you're using sticks, you ain't gonna be able to do squid hops like that. At least not as fast. Squid 
Ooh. That's something you're not gonna do with sticks. Or if you do, possibly a very rare occurrence. You suck at rank? It's probably because you're using sticks in it. Because the thing is that most players who play ranked are motion players. Nice. There's definitely many different things that I did that you're just not gonna do with sticks. Just one thing. So as we continue to just play more games, it's kind of like, it's pretty obvious why, you know.